It's a journey, Janae Aiko said of her daughter Namiko, who is going through the same thing she did as a teen. When Janae Aiko realized her music not only helped her cope through her own mental health struggles but also those of her fans, she felt the urge to do more. As Mental Health Awareness Month comes to a close, the sativa singer spoke to people about being named an ambassador for Didi Hirsch Mental Health Services, and how she's using her music to spread the word. As I traveled around and toured, and got to speak to a lot of people and they would share with me their personal stories and share with me how my music has helped them, Aiko, 34, says. And having honest conversations with the people that listen to my music, it's like we're helping each other. Reflecting on her own mental health journey, the R&B singer, whose full name is Janae Aiko Afiru Colombo, says music was always her way of coping, even before she realized it could be for others too. Since the time I could write really, I've been dealing with my emotions through writing. That was always my way of getting through difficult things. Even when I was in elementary school, if I was really angry or really anxious about something, I would write about it. Then, in 2008, Aiko gave birth to her 13-year-old daughter Namiko, whom she shares with her ex-boyfriend, singer Orion. I had a child at 20 and definitely dealt with some postpartum depression and then two years after she was born, my brother passed and I definitely dealt with depression and self-medicating. At that same time, I was dealing with the typical early 20s blues of just dealing with relationships. And so on top of everything else, I was starting to get very busy and popular. She continued, I started gaining success, so I put out my mixtape and I started getting really busy, performing and touring. And so along with that, came a bunch of other pressures and I was still dealing with, I have a young daughter, I lost my brother, trying to numb those feelings of, he's not here to see me live my dream. I was really depressed and just self-medicating and drinking and trying to cope with that, 